Hey Valparaiso, it's Kurt at the Valpo Chamber and it's a new month, so it's a new opportunity for us to tell you what's happening here at the Chamber. Typically we like to present the idea in a somewhat entertaining way and I like to keep a long list of ideas, but as you can see, here's my list of ideas. What I could do is tell you that the ribbon cuttings this month are on October 1st at White Oak Farm Venue, and then on October 7th at Power Source Transportation, and then on October 14th at Ballet 58, and then on October 29th we have a dual ribbon cutting at the Blue Jay Building for holiday properties in the TLC companies, and then I could bring in some scissors and open it up kind of scary for Halloween. Or I could tell you that AM Valpo is on Wednesday, October 7th at the Valparaiso Country Club at 7 a.m. And then, you know, I could, I don't know, like spill a cup of coffee and make you laugh. And then I could tell you that our business after hours are coming back. And the first one's gonna be on Thursday, November 5th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at Don Quixote Restaurant. And then I could like turn some flashlights on and some fireworks. I could also let you know that we're planning our next luncheon with the Valparaiso Police Chief later this month. Now, I don't have all the details, but I could tie a ribbon around my finger to remind you to check your email and our website. But those ideas have all been done before. They're not that entertaining. I could finish this video by letting you know that one of the largest events of the year is happening on Thursday, October 15th. Chamber Network Night is going to be at the Porter County Expo Center from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. I could use much fanfare to let you know that this is the premier networking event of the region. And I could also let you know that every participant and attendee will be entered to win one of five $100 Valpo Chamber gift certificates as door prizes. I could also use this time to let you know that we've been working with the Porter County Health Department to make this event as safe as possible for our exhibitors and attendees, so plan to attend. I could do all these things, but would it be enough? I'm not sure, you're a smart audience. Well, hopefully by next month, I'll have this whole list filled out. Oh wait, I think I've got one. Oh, this is gonna be good.